This is me, and this is Counter-Strike 2, one of the most popular games ever, and I mean ever created. But there is just a slight little problem. Uh, actually two problems. Uh, I'm kind of addicted to that game, and on the other hand, I'm just kind of bad at it. I'm just kind of shit at it, you know? So today, I decided to do what any mastermind nerd would do in this situation, which was, maybe you have guessed it already, delete the game. There, that's right. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm making a cheat today. And hopefully I won't get sued. But no, don't worry about it. This is only for education of how many times you gotta hear that shit and be like, oh my god, yeah, that's, that's funny. Nah, don't worry about it educational purposes only let's get started with today's video but before we get started maybe just maybe if you want to actually learn hacking and also game hacking because i will be making a course on that check out my course for bug bounty link is in the description as well as my platform aveno both of them are in the description box below now let's go make a cheat and let's show these neck beards see i don't actually have it Neckbeards, who is the real gamer or real virgin? I don't know. Let's get going. How exactly am I actually going to do this? Well, first step, in my opinion, should be to maybe start looking for the health value in memory of the Counter Strike. Because as I've explained, most of the stuff that actually happens around the player is probably close together because again, player is just an object in memory. So what I'm thinking is maybe we can just use Cheat Engine uh, to basically find the health value of our local player. And then from that, we can find the position. And from that, we can probably find the uh, whole thing. Like, for example, uh, an array of... Don't worry, we're going to be actually trying this in practice mode and on workshops, never on actual multiplayer game because, you know, that's considered cheating and you know that breaks fair play rules i'm gonna start cheat engine and from now i'm going to start actually developing this cheat but i want to give myself a little bit of a challenge too i want to also try to complete this whole thing up within a day so i gave myself 24 hours to figure out a whole cheat that will give me a big advantage but i'm not gonna go for aim bots i'm not gonna go for any of that i'm gonna go for something more complex like a probably a radar which tells me each position of each player and their health where they're located on the map. I think that would be cool. And yeah, let's get going. So without wasting any further time, I immediately started to basically develop and do research. Now, you know guys how much I love challenges and this will honestly be a very difficult one. So I immediately added the CS strike to the cheat engine and immediately started to research. What I'm currently doing is trying to search for 100 and I'm searching that as a four byte value in the entire memory of Counter-Strike to maybe see if we can actually find the health value of our local player. This will only be possible because I know the health already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to also go to console and type hurt me to basically decrease some of my HP and then go back to cheat engine and then search for 95 in the current results. And you can see we narrowed them down quite a lot. And right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test basically each and every one of them to find the actual health value of our local player. And this can take some time depending on how many results you get. But overall, I seem to have found it. And as you can see, currently I have 995 HP, meaning that this was a successful hunt. And literally the last thing we have to do is right click on this memory address of our local player's health and do a pointer scan to basically see every single pointer that points to our local player's health. So currently we actually found a lot of results which point to basically our player's health and first one looks very interesting to me so I'll definitely save it but all of these other ones how do you actually test them well you would reset the game and basically go back in and see which one of these valid so I'm going to quickly do that and then I'm going to tell you which one of them actually works so let's see. So after we have found actually this and after resetting the game and seeing that it actually works we actually have a few things to do now. So we can essentially copy this right over here and basically go to the memory view and then we can go to tools and dissect data and structures. You can create a new structure called maybe player, I don't know, player test would be good. And then we can create it and then essentially paste this right over here and we can see a lot of different stuff right here. After we actually, it was not this one, it was this other one, uh, it was actually just this below one. 
this one right here uh, because you kind of have to test it. I tested the first one and it didn't work. And I have to use this one because if you take a closer look, it has a pointer. Let me just expand this a little bit more. It has a little pointer. And after you expand that, you can see that it from 20, it goes like this. So 20 all the way to 80 in the offset, we see pointer to instance of CCS player pawn. Weird. And if we take a look uh, at over here, uh, you can see that this how it worked is it added 20 and then it, the offset from 20 was 2d0. So we can know that the 2z, 2d0 is the offset to health and we can check that out because believe it or not, this is actually every single player in the map. So we can expand the 20 here and just literally scroll down until we see 2d0. So let's find that up. 2d0 is 995. Okay, but let's go to the second player. So let me just go, for example, to the second player. So uh, where is it? 2d0. And we can see that the 2d0 right over here equals to 100, meaning that this some some other player, which is somewhere here, actually has health to 100. So let me update his health to 1000. And believe it or not, if you throw a headshot to an enemy in this game, the enemy dies. However, this enemy doesn't seem to die. This one. There it is. Oh, it's Italy. So I'm heading him, but he doesn't die. That's weird because maybe, just maybe, I updated his health to be 1000. So let's check that out. And it, as you can see, his current health is, let me actually right click on it and add to the address list. And as you can see, his current health decreases. Just pay close attention. Look at that. His health decreases and now he has 14 health. So if I shoot him anywhere, he's dead. Would you look at that? That is interesting. And he gets replaced, of course, with a brand new robot. So that's cool. And we actually found something very interesting within the memory of this game. After we have found every single player in the memory, it only now basically is to do is to find their positions. And that's going to be actually tricky. However, due to ethical reasons, I'm not going to show how exactly I found them, but you will kind of, if you know what you're doing, you definitely can find them. But to ethical, basically, I don't want to teach you guys to make an actual cheat so right over here let me actually get this window down hold on a second because this wall down because i want to walk actually there's another one uh let me just be able to walk all right here we go so this is our player and let me show you where the positions is so if i go back here to my cheat engine and if i actually just do a little bit of cool little things as you can see if i expand this a little bit more uh you can see this is a pointer to instance of a c player that's me and let's just take the second enemy if i just scroll down i will see that there is a pointer to instance of c body component base enemy graph if that is gibberish to you don't worry you're not alone it was to me but uh, how i found this stuff i can only explain with autism there's no other explanation to this because how the hell would somebody find this there's no way but anyways after you open this you go to 150 and you actually see the float which is the position to the player x and y or x and z i don't know which actually metric system it uses for coordinates but x and y position is this keep that in mind but there's actually one funny thing we can do we can actually find this exact player by following the coordinates let me show you something really cool in cs if i open the console and go with cl underscore show pos i think it's called so show pos and i set that to one uh you can now see that my position is six nine six nine zero point ninety four and one four eight point forty two is my kind of position overall and sixty four oh three is my height nothing to be confused there so we have to go to minus six four zero so let's go to minus six four zero so it has to go here minus six four zero it should be right around here oh there's actually right a cool little player right in front of us and on the y-axis we have to go 960 so let's go 960 oh would you look at that this seems to be this exact player here so to just actually verify that i'm gonna actually increase just this player's health to being 1000 so let me actually just do that so i'll go to cheat engine again uh I will close this uh, C body component. And if you remember, 2D0 was the actual offset for health. So 2D0, as you can see, 100. Let me put let me put 1000 and let's click OK. And just for the record, I will add this to the address list. So just keep on actually looking at this thing and let's just do it. Boom. Oh, boom. But it seems like actually funny thing is that this player was also the player I found before. It's kind of crazy, by the way, because I killed a guy and this probably is the one that respawned. But anyways, boom, boom 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 and there we go so yeah 
Simple as that. And now that you understand that, I'm going to actually combine all of this into a cheat. But how exactly is that cheat going to look like? Hmm. So now that you understand how the cheat is going to look like, uh, we have another problem. And that other problem is definitely the most difficult one. It's to actually figure out the difference between these two. So, oh my god, my friends are calling me to play CS2. Please, no. I'm recording. <laughs> this, see, this is the problem that I'm having. Uh, anyways, so it's actually now important to differentiate the two players. Uh, there is a Counter-Strike player, or Counter-Terrorist, I'm sorry, and there is a Terrorist player. So what is the difference between these two players? We have to literally scan the entire memory of both of these objects and figure out what is the difference between them. What actually differentiates them? And trust me, there's a lot of different factors about these two players because they're two players. Different players. But uh, due to my autism abilities, and I'm not even kidding, I swear to God, I swear to the God's name, I haven't looked up the offset tables for this game i swear to god i haven't but due to my autism autistic skills i don't know what actually it is i figured out the difference between these two players and the difference is just a number that's actually what differentiates them see if the this little value here uh maybe i shouldn't show you that you know what you're my fans i can definitely show you that so there's a nice little value actually i'm not showing that <laughs> i'm not not showing it but there's a small little value in memory of each little instance of our player that is set to either two or three depending on what it actually is if it's a two then it's a terrorist if it's a three then it's not a terrorist Honestly, I don't know how I figured that out. There's no clear indication to what it actually is, but I'm just quite autistic. There is no other explanation to what this actually is. I'm autistic as hell. So now that you understand that, I think it's about time that we actually figure out how to make a cheat. And yeah, there's actually nothing else to do apart from coding, which is the easiest part, honestly. So I'm going to combine all of this stuff into a cheat and let me show you what I've made. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the cheat. So let me go play and let me go practice and I'll go for dust and let's click go so i'm going to start a game now and then after it loads everything up i'm going to start my cheat and show you how actually it works and trust me it's super good it's super complex and super fun but if you actually want to learn all of this this whole thing will be available in my game hacking course which is going to be out very soon so stay tuned for that i will actually announce it here on the channel so if you want to actually enroll and maybe see and obviously whoever actually bought my bug bounty course will you know have some funny perks there so just so you know but if you're actually wanting to learn all of this and this whole thing even the cheat will be available on that uh course so you know let's wait until this whole thing finishes up so that i can show you what this cheat actually does Alrighty, let's actually enroll. So here is me. Oh my god, I lagged. Uh, well, it's lagging really much, but let me actually run the cheat. So if I just click enter, mapper will run. Oh, I actually commented some stuff out. Oh, please just give me a moment. <laughs> All right, let me just rerun this. Uh, cannot access local variable oval. Oh my god, hold on, let me fix this, actually. Finally, finally, I've done it. Uh, it. It took a while, but I actually had to do some fixes, but here it is. This is the map, and blues represent counter-terrorists, and these uh, yellow or orange ones represent terrorists. So we can follow everybody who is around, and we can see that there are two of them, and you can see the one here shooting had 49 health. So let's see, let's wait until this round finishes so that I can show you how it actually looked like if I was to play as one of these guys. Let's see. Okay, the round has finished. Let me see it. So as you can see, these two players are kind of shooting there. Okay. Ugh. Let me buy a gun. I should buy an AK. So let me see where they're actually going to go. Mm, this is going to be very interesting, but let's see now. Let's see now. Uh, okay, there seem to be go going to mid. Some of them went to B. Oh, actually, they're all going to mid. So let me just go ahead and just go to mid. And yeah, they're all going to mid. So let me just... Ah, oh, it's hard to play. Uh, I'll just go here. And there's a one. There's a one dude. Hold on. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. Don't worry about it. I'll do it. I'll get him. Uh, there's a one literally hiding there. So I think this guy will finish him off. You know what? Let me, let me, let me get him. Let me get him. Get over, get over here. Get out. Get out. Uh, okay. He's running. He's running. He's running behind me. He's running behind me. He's running behind me. Let's, let me see. Let me see where he at. Where is he? Where he at? Where he at? He is uh, somewhere there. He's running. Okay, somebody's shooting me. 
He shot me. Oh, he was down below. Oh my god, I'm so disoriented. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you learned something from today's video, and hopefully this wasn't too much for YouTube. I'm going to put a big-ass disclaimer still in the description box below so you actually kind of understand what I mean. So, thank you so much for watching this little video. Stay safe, stay responsible, and as always, peace.